Hello. <clears throat> Little surprise live video. I hope you're all doing really well. I um I was sitting in meditation, I went for a walk, I shared a little Instagram story just now on Indigenous People Day yesterday, so go check that out if you're not on, on Instagram uh, with me yet. And then I thought, you know, it's actually a really important like topic that, that I'm kind of... Um, working on right now and then i i wrote like about it i typed all my insights um about it on on my notes here also i'm painting <laughs> and then i thought you know i'm just gonna go live so i have my notes here on my laptop that i just wrote for you that i was gonna do like a post on and then i thought i'm just gonna go live so i'm gonna be referring to my notes as i'm talking so i i want to talk about building emotional mastery and this is has been something that keeps like it keeps on coming up for a lot of people um you know you can say oh, how am i gonna phrase this so for example <laughs> i'm already like oh my god how am i gonna say these things that i want to say um so for example something is happening in your life right and and you don't really like it it's so easy to say oh, why is this happening to me why is this happening to me right how how often how easy is it to say that why is it why is this happening to me and what that does it's really keeping you stuck in that victim mentality right it's very like I'm the victim in this situation. It's happening to me. And the way I'm going to get into why it's important to build emotional mastery, but the way to build that emotional mastery is to ask a different question, right? Is to ask instead of why is this happening to me? Why is this happening for me? And what that question does is it gives you mastery over the situation, first of all, but also you're opening yourself up to extract the gifts from the experience. So um, it, instead of stuffing it down and saying, oh my God, why is this happening to me? I don't want to be dealing with this. I'm so frustrated, right? What emotions need to be felt about it? What needs to be moved? Like, what, what do you need to move through to extract the gifts, to feel the emotions? Um, ask yourself, can I go deeper into this? Anger, sadness, grief, right? Frustration. Um, all those very, like, dense, heavy emotions. How can you go deeper into it instead of shaming it away or being very angry about it or frustrated by it or distracting yourself from the whole situation and, and go do something else like eating or binging out on Netflix, like whatever. Like we, it's very easy to stuff things down because we often don't have, we don't create the space right? To actually move through it and then extract the gifts, extract the gold. That's alchemy, emotional alchemy. Um, and then from there, once you're kind of moving through that experience, um, how then can you show up in service, right? Because you have gone through that experience. So I, I will give you a little example and this is, it's very interesting. And I, I hope that it will help you kind of paint a picture of how, how this can look like in your own life when you're dealing with situations that you just are very frustrated by, right? I have done a lot. I have done a lot of abundance and wealth consciousness work, right? And, and I will always probably continue to do that work because I feel like that's very aligned to my soul's journey. Um, like inviting in abundance, healing that, that, um, healing those limitations that were put on me throughout my, my childhood and, and, you know, just those stories. And a few years ago, so this was about like 
two years into my business, I think. First year was going really well. Then I think this was like the second or third year. There were like two months, I think, one one to two months that that I made only $300 in my business. And that now looking back, I'm like, that was the greatest thing that could have happened, right? <laughs> in it, when I was in it, I was so stressed. I was so anxious. I cried. I was frustrated. I, I felt like this very, like I had to hustle and which is not a good place to be in, right? Now that I that I can see it from, from by moving by have gone through it, right? I I really had to look at I'm gonna look at my notes because this is what I wrote was really good. What part of me is comfortable with that experience? What part of me was comfortable with just making three hundred dollars a month in my business, which is not gonna support anybody, right? Like, did, was I comfortable with my partner supporting me? Was it like um, comfortable for me? Or was there some part of me that really liked him getting very anxious and, and like stressed about it? Um, it was very much that I had to heal that, that I call it the disempowered feminine. It's like that damsel in distress. It's, it's like the princess who wants to be saved, right? Like that part of me loved that drama. She loved like being saved by her partner, you know, not making any money. Oh, don't worry, I got you, you know? And that in itself is very uncomfortable to look at in yourself, right? No one wants to admit that you have that part of you who loves the drama. And, but that is what creates emotional mastery. That is what creates um, you looking at it, right? Which is takes courage in itself to see like, okay, this is what happened. And I, some part of me was actually very comfortable with this situation, even though I didn't like it at the time, right? You, looking back, you can see, but that only happens. You can only extract that gift of emotional mastery by going through it and really embracing everything about that situation. Does that make sense? So it's, it's recognizing what in your current situation, for example, that you so want to see changed is comfortable because there is something about it. If, if it's not truly what you want, then there's something about it. That's, that's keeping you stuck there. That that's comfortable for you. Otherwise you would have moved into a different situation already. And, and it's not about shaming or, or making something bad, right? It's fine. I, I don't, shame myself for for having those those like kind of disastrous months in my business it's fine because i needed that right to build more emotional mastery but a part of me loved staying stuck there right and it's really not like again it's not about making something bad it's it's about recognizing and understanding that codependency right? Understanding that that part of us just, just wants to feel safe, right? And, and comfort, being comfortable is safe for that part of you who loves to stay stuck, right? In some weird way. And that's the truth. Like me not making that much money those two months <clears throat> a few years ago was safe because I didn't have to show up more fully. I didn't have to listen to the guidance that that I was receiving, no doubt, but I died that I didn't listen to because I was scared to take those action steps that would um, make me more visible or have me show up more vulnerably so people could really connect with me further, right? Do you see where I'm getting at here? It's really about the questions we ask and it's about extracting the lesson. And then go teach the lesson, right? Because someone someone else will want to know your story about it, no doubt, like 100%. That is emotional mastery. And integration, it's the integration of life's experiences and then sharing your gift about it with other people, the gift that you extracted, that you're now an embodiment of. That's how you build... That's how you build a very strong 
core, a very strong, emotionally invincible, secure being in yourself, right? You will be able to handle anything because at the end of the day, it's just emotions, right? It's just um, fear. And it's very scary. Like it feels like you're going to die sometimes, <laughs> right? It's, it's just grief. And, and it will feel like, like those months that I was just talking about, it felt like they were never ending and that was the end of my life, you know? But at the end of the day, it was really what I needed to recognize that that part of me, of course I love that part of me, but I don't want to resonate with that any longer if, because I could already see the other side of it as well. But it's, we have to move through that dense stuff to like make it there right and at the same time that is what allows you to to become the walking embodiment of of your soul's journey so i hope this makes sense that is then how you also create more abundance in your life right you're you're sharing your story people will be drawn to you because you move through those heavy dense emotions and a lot of people don't know how to do that okay does this make sense let me know in the comments. Also, if you're watching the replay, I can see people here. I just can't see who you are, which is kind of funny. I'm on my phone. So let me know. And if you want to, to learn how to do this in, in a deeper way, um, so you can call in more, more abundance and feel more on purpose and, and just feel better in your skin, in, in whatever experience you're going through right? Like build, really build that mastery of, of life, of, of what you are here to walk out as, what you're here, like your purpose, right? You're here to walk out your purpose. So how, how is that going to show up for you? Like if you want to learn how to do this in, in a more deeper way, join Winter Queen. Oh, I'm so excited about this. We are going to really embrace the colder, darker months in this program by going within. Let me look at my notes because I wrote something really good about this too. <laughs> so we're going to go within. We're going to self-source so that we, become, we can become that very magnetic woman, right? That is then able to up-level and change her outer experiences. But it happens within first, right? It happens with this work first. You have to be comfortable here, you know, on the inside. And it happens with that emotional mastery as well. What I was just talking about here in this in this life by by building the confidence and building the trust, right? Building the the allowing of, of the receiving of the abundance. It's this very, this, this very feminine energy of going within in the darkness and allowing, right? Allowing to receive the abundance and the blessings and the joy of life, which also comes with the hardships and, and the not so good experiences. And that's where that trust then again comes in, that we can move through that as well. And what better way to do that than in a community of like-minded women in the winter months going within, you know, that's what winter is all about. So that's what we're going to do in Winter Queen. It's an eight week online program it starts on December 1st. So we have a little bit of time to go, but it's on pre-sale right now. Message me directly if you want more details, if you want more information, if you want in, um, yeah, and I think that's all I had to share. So I'm painting my mud room. <laughs> this was from yesterday still. So today I'm, I'm painting a, a one wall in a bathroom. We're making a bathroom there as well. I'm making it dark blue. And then we have bought this really beautiful Mexican sink. And that's going to be like the centerpiece of the bathroom. You have to follow me on Instagram to see all these things because I'm sharing everything on there. All right. Um, yeah, so that's how you build emotional mastery. That's, that's one way of really feeling secure in, in who you are, what you're going through any minute of the day, really, because we're always moving and flowing with our emotions, right? 
So let me know if that was helpful. Let me know um, if you want more information on Winter Queen. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm really excited. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Much love.